Let's discuss how to multiply two matrices. And we will start our discussion with learning multiplication of some matrix to some vector or some vector transpose to some matrix. So our biggest motivation to figure out how to multiply or to define the matrix multiplication is to being able to write down the system of linear equations in the form of Ax is equal to the B, where A is going to contain all of the coefficients of the systems of the equations, and X is going to be a vector which is going to contain all the unknowns, which are going to be X1, XT, and so on, Xn. And this vector B is going to contain all the right hand side parts, B1, Bt, and so on, Bn. So let's say we're given K equations. This is the system of K equations, and we would like to write this down as the equation of the two vectors. So basically, I would like to put all the left-hand sides of the equations to one vector as a, as a rows of one vector, and all the right-hand side parts as a row of the another vector. So the two vectors are equivalent, right? They are equal. So what I would like to do is I would like to split this left-hand side vector into the summation of the n vectors, and for each of the vectors, I would like to get out the x1. So basically, if I just multiply x1 to this vector, x2 to this vector, and so on, xn to this vector, and if I add them, I will get exactly this vector. And do you remember in the beginning, I wanted to write down the system of linear equations in the form of ax is equal to the b, where a would contain all the coefficients from all the equations, x would be the vector with all the unknowns, and b would be a vector with all the right-hand side parts. By looking to this form, and by looking to this form, I can see that I can multiply the matrix A to the x by combining the columns of this matrix A with the components of this vector X. Basically, if I would like to multiply a matrix to some vector, I just need to get all the columns of this matrix A, and I just need to add them by multiplying to the components of this vector. So let's do an example. So let's say we are given a matrix, and we need to multiply this to this vector. So in order to do this, I just need to get the three columns of this matrix separately. So three, two, minus 1, 0, 3, minus 1. And I just need to add them. And before doing this, I need to multiply them to the 1, to the minus t, and to the 3, which are the components of this vector. So this is going to be equal to 3t vector plus 2 and 0 vector plus 9 and minus 15 vector. So if I do all the addition, I will get 14 and minus 13 vector, right? At the same time, so you might ask me, hey, what if you've got a matrix minus 1, 0, 3, minus 5, and you need to multiply this to the matrix? So with two columns, for example, with the 1 minus 2, 3, and 1, 0, 2. So... I, I would I would say that we are going to do in the same in the same manner. So I would multiply this matrix to the first column first, and I would write down this result as the first column of the resulting matrix, which is going to be fourteen and minus thirteen. Then I would multiply this matrix, the same matrix, three two minus one zero three minus five to the second column of this matrix. And since I know how to multiply a matrix to the column, this is going to be straightforward. So I multiply the first column 3t to the 1, plus the second column minus 1 and 0 to the 0, and the third column 3 and minus 5 to the t, and I just need to add them. So basically this is going to be 3 and t, so the second vector disappears because I'm multiplying this, this is 0, and the third vector becomes 3 and minus 10, and if I do the addition, I will obtain 10 and minus 8. So since I multiplied my matrix as a second column, this result, this resulting vector, is going to go as the second column of the new matrix. And at the same time, so please know that, do you, do you understand that we need to multiply this matrix to some column vector as a linear combination of its columns, right? And if you have three vectors, you should have three 
numbers in order to combine them. So that is why the number of the columns of the first matrix should be equal to the number of the rows of the second. Basically, if I would like to write down the dimension of the first matrix as 2 by 3, it means that it has 2 rows and 3 columns. And if I write down the dimension of the second matrix as 3 by 2, the steer and the numbers should be the same. So the number of the columns of the first matrix should be the same as the number of the rows of the second matrix. And the resulting matrix is going to have the dimension of the two of the numbers, which is going to be two by two. So at the same time, it is important for us to be able to multiply a matrix, for example, the same matrix, three minus one, three, to 0 minus 5, for example, to some row uh, vector. So let's say I would like to multiply this matrix to some row 1, 0, 2. Let's say, so I need to see the dimensionalities of this matrices first of all. So it is going to be 1 by 3. It has 1 row and 3 columns. And this matrix has 3 rows and 2 columns. So indeed, I can multiply these two matrices since the inner numbers are the same. It appears if I multiply a vector from the left, I need to combine now the rows of this matrix instead of the columns as before. So what I have to do is I need to take the row, each row of this matrix separately, 3 and 2, minus 1 and 0, 3 and minus 5, and I just need to add them, but before the, doing them, I need to multiply them to the 1, 0, and 2, which are the components of this vector. So this is going to be equal to the 3 and 2, plus 6 and minus 10. If I add them, we'll get 9 and minus 8. This is going to be the result of this multiplication. So what happens if the first matrix has two rows instead of just one. For example, it has a row 1, 0, 2, and at the same time it has a row 1, minus 2, and 3. 1, minus 2, and 3. So in this case, we're going to do the same operation, but, but for each of the vectors. So basically, we assume that, hey, there is only one vector exists here, but if I know, but I know how to multiply a vector to the matrix, right? In order to multiply this vector to this matrix, I just need to combine the three vectors, row vectors, right? Using the three numbers, 1, 0, and 2. And the result which I obtain, which is 9 and minus 8, I'm going to, I'm going to put as the second row, since the three numbers are given on the second row of the initial matrix. So now, if I multiply this row, 1, minus 2, and 3, to this matrix, what I have to do is, I just again get the three rows of the second matrix separately. I need to multiply them to the three numbers, which are the components of this vector, 1, minus 2, and 3, then I have to add them. So the result is going to be a single vector, right? Vector multiplied to the matrix gives you, me, gives you again a vector. So the answer is going to be 3 and 2 plus 2 and 0 plus 9 and minus 15. If we add the three vectors component-wise, this is going to be 14 and minus 13. So I need to put this as the first row of the resulting matrix, 14 and minus 13, since the three numbers, which are the coefficients of the linear combination of the three vectors, are given on the first row. 